Good morning! The topic that I'm going to discuss today is the Kolmogorov Smirnov test or what we call the KS test. This test is used as a test of goodness of fit and is ideal when the size of the sample is small. It compares the cumulative distribution function for a variable with a specified distribution. The null hypothesis assumes no difference between the observed and theoretical distribution. And the value of test statistic t is calculated using this formula. The KS test formula can be read as the maximum absolute value of the difference between the observed cumulative frequency and the theoretical cumulative frequency. For the observed cumulative frequency, we use this formula. We have there k over n, the number of observations less than or equal to x divided by the total number of observation. For the critical value of d, it is found from the KS table values for one sample test. For the acceptance criteria, if calculated value is less than the critical value, then we fail to reject the null hypothesis. For the rejection criteria, if the calculated value is greater than the tabular value, then we reject the null hypothesis. For our problem statement or our example problem, in a study done from various streams of a college with 60 students, equal number of students are drawn from each stream. They were interviewed and their intention to join the drama club was noted. We have here five streams. One, two, three, four, five. This is our observed values. And then for our theoretical, of course, since we have there 60 students divided by 5 streams, it gives us 12. So it was expected that 12 students from each class would join the drama club. So we use the KS test to find if there is any difference among student classes with regard to their intention of joining the drama club. For our hypothesis, for the null, there is no difference among students of different streams with respect to their intention of joining the drama club. For our alternate, there is a difference among students of different streams with respect to their intention of joining the drama club. Next is, we develop the cumulative frequencies for the observed and theoretical distribution. So we have here our observed values and then, of course, our theoretical values. Again, this 12 came from, we have a total of 60 divided by 5 streams that is equal to 12. And the next is the FOX. We have here 5, okay, 5 over 60. Then 5 plus 9 we have there 14, so 14 over 60. Then 14 plus 11, we have there 25, so that's 25 over 60. And then we have 25 plus 16, we have 41, that would be 41 over 60. And then 41 plus 19, we have there 60, so that's 60 over 60. For FT of X, we have there 12 over 60. Then 12 plus 12, we have there 24. Then 24 plus 12, we have there 36. And then 36 plus 12, we have there 48. And then 48 plus 12, we have there 60. And then we get the difference between the observed and the theoretical distributions. We have here 7 over 60, 10 over 60, 11 over 60, 7 over 60, and 0. Please take note, our maximum absolute value. We have there, 11 over 60.
So test statistic D is calculated as D is equal to the maximum absolute value of the difference between the observed and the theoretical distribution. So we have here 11 over 60. And that is equal to 0 0.183. So for the tabular value of D at 5%, level of significance that is given by D at 0 0.05, we have 1.36 divided by the square root of N. We have 1.36 divided by square root of 60. We have there 0 0.183. 175. So this is our tabular value. This is our computed value. So since the calculated value is greater than the critical value, hence we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a difference among students of different streams in their intention of joining the drama club. That's all. Thank you and God bless.